The federal government has announced it will wipe $3 billion in student debt and offer payments for some students undergoing mandatory placements. These announcements come a week before the federal budget and in the wake of recommendations made to the government about how to reform the sector. So Billy, a couple of weeks ago, we did a podcast episode. It was about the Australian University's Accord final report, that is a mouthful, which made nearly 50 recommendations to the government about how to create change in Australia's higher education sector. Now, a bit over a month later, we are circling back to this story because the government has made two major announcements off the back of these recommendations. One of them is about HEX, so about student debt, and the other is about placements that university students have to do for their degrees. And I do want to just set the scene a bit. So for anyone that might be a bit out of university or didn't go to university, I just want to explain what we're talking about when we talk about HEX. So the Higher Education Contribution Scheme, HEX, which is under the Higher Education Loan Program, HELP, but we're just going to call it HEX, That makes sure that students can go to university without having to pay for their course up front. Now, students pay off their HECS debt to the government after they begin earning above a certain threshold, and those payments are what's called indexed over time. The report I referred to earlier looked into how HECS was functioning here in Australia, and it found that the system needed to be modernised. It recommended overhauling the indexation of student debts. So indexation is basically when the amount that a student owes increases to reflect inflation, so rising prices, on the 1st of June each year. So if we're to use an example of what happened last year, on the 1st of June last year, anyone with HEX, that went up 7.1%. Now that was a record, that was huge. Um, But it was in line with what we had seen the rise of inflation. Now, the review suggested that a cap on indexation might avoid significant increases like we saw last year from happening again. And it also suggested that instead of always being pegged to the rate of inflation, that indexation should be pegged to either the rate of wage growth or the rate of inflation, whichever is lower. And then we have this report that does a big review into what is going on with HEX and if anything can be improved. And they say that lots of things can be improved. And yeah, what they call for an overhaul. They right. basically say it's not working as intended. People are unable to pay back this debt and it's just becoming a huge issue. So they make these really big recommendations. That's a month ago. And then over the weekend, the government finally announced what they were going to do about it. And so what is that announcement? (laughs) The big build up. We're finally there. So uh, so just in time for budget, which is hands down a week today, the federal government announced that they are planning to wipe $3 billion in student debts. So basically this concept of wiping debt is the government announcing that they're going to change the way that HEX is indexed. So the announcement was that they will base student debt indexation on whatever is lower out of wages or inflation. So remember I said it was always pegged on inflation, but now they've gone with that recommendation and they're now going to have the option. If wages are lower, they will do it to that lower rate. And that also goes to the conversation that we've been having in recent years, that wages have not been increasing at the same Same pace as inflation. And I think the really important part of this announcement is that the government have said that they will backdate it to June of last year. So that means that anyone that had that 7.1% indexation applied to their debt, that will be wiped under the government's announcement. And it'll go down to the lower rate of 3.2%, which is what wage growth was at. Just to be clear, though, the 7.1% isn't entirely going. It's just being replaced by the 3. Reduced. Point, it's being yeah. reduced to the 3.2% increase, yeah. which is in line with how much wages increased at that point last year. Exactly. So here's Education Minister Jason Clare explaining what that means. This will wipe out what happened last year and make sure it never happens again. It means for someone with the average help debt of 26500 bucks, up to $1,200 will be wiped from their outstanding help loans. So that's a massive change. What happens now? Does it need the support of the opposition? Yeah, so 
I feel like there should always be a bit of an asterisk when we make these big announcements. So uh, government is doing big thing, asterisk. It still needs to pass parliament. (laughs) So uh, the government still needs to introduce and pass legislation in parliament. So it's going to be included in the budget, but it needs to pass through parliament to become law. And the government doesn't have enough seats in the Senate to pass legislation by itself. So it's going to need to rely on either the opposition or some of the crossbench to support it. And so have we heard from the opposition, who to be clear when we say opposition, but talking about the coalition, which is the Liberal Party and the National Party? Yeah, we have. So Shadow Education Minister Sarah Henderson said that the government's announcement is, quote, all trickery and deceit and doesn't fix Labor's student debt trap. So in their eyes, they're saying the government has mismanaged the economy, that inflation has been rising really, really rapidly, and that that's the actual problem. And that the government isn't fixing that problem, they're just fixing the kind of flow on effects of that. And so that is what the coalition is criticising the government about. Hello, I'm James and I produce the video you're watching. If you're enjoying what you're watching, we'd love it if you considered subscribing and checking us out on our other platforms. It'd really help in getting the word out about what we're doing here at TDA. Thanks very much. And now back to the deep dive. Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor said, and I quote, the best way to address growing hex debt is to fight Labor's homegrown inflation at its source by reining in spending and strong budget management. Just to be clear, the coalition there are criticising the government's announcement, but they haven't said whether or not they will support it in Parliament. So we'll have to wait and see when it's introduced. The other group that the government would be looking to for support are members of the crossbench. So we heard from independent Senator David Pocock, who said that the announcement was a good first step, but that without proper reform, student debt will continue to skyrocket. Okay, so that is a huge story. But at the start of this, you said that there were two announcements. Yeah, drum roll. <laughs> I understand the other one is about placements, which yeah. we have also done an episode on and we will put it in the show notes. Yeah. What did they say about that? Yeah, so just before I go to the announcement, just to clarify, when we're talking about placements in this context, we're talking about when students have to complete practical placements and professional training in order to get their degrees. So many people listening to this have had to either do it themselves or watch someone they know undergo these placements. They're typically unpaid and they can last several weeks. Uh, When we did You're Right, Billy, this pod episode last month, we heard from a couple of students about what the conditions were like on their placements. As a reminder, here's some of what we heard. So I'm in my last year of studies. I am studying physiotherapy. And as a requirement to graduate, we must attend placements from 8 to 4 and sometimes 5 p.m., depending on your placement. And during that time, we do not get paid a single cent of money. We do not get any... Um, accommodation allowances, any travel fees, any food expenses, nothing like that. I think many people listening can relate to that. It's a huge issue for a lot of university degrees. And so that is why this big review recommended that the government change that. Yeah. What did they announce yesterday? Yeah, so the government announced financial support for students who are completing these mandatory practical placements. Now, I'll go into the specifics. I do just want to flag again, this also has to pass through Parliament. So what we're saying now is what the government is proposing, but it's not law yet. It still needs to pass through Parliament. But let's run through what we do know based on what the government has announced. So from the 1st of July 2025, nursing, teaching, midwifery and social work students will be eligible for $319.50 a week during placements. By the government's estimates, the initiative will be available to 73,000 university and TAFE students. And not everyone will be able to access this support. So even if you are doing these placements, you're not necessarily going to be able to get it. It's going to be means tested, which means that some students will be excluded depending on their personal financial and living situation. Um, And it's also important to note, I think, that other payments like AusStudy or Commonwealth rent assistance won't be impacted by this new placement support. So they won't interact in any way or it won't negate you from being able to access that. And what has the response been to that announcement? So the National Union of Students welcomed the payments but said they don't go far enough. 
These are two big announcements that are super relevant to Mm. young audiences. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of The Daily Oz. And if you're listening on Spotify, you'll see that there's a little Q&A section on the episode page where you can tell us what you thought of today's episode. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening and we will be back tomorrow.